The views and opinions expressed do not necessarily represent those of Access Fort Wayne, the Allen County Public Library, or any other supporting group. Get involved with Access Fort Wayne and make your own television programming. Call 421-1250 to find out more.
investment G reclined. I started showing animals in 4-H because I grew up and was surrounded by cattle. I love them. My parents and my grandparents taught me everything I know about showing cattle. I continued showing because I love the people I meet and the competition. Contestant H replied, my mother showed in 4-H and it's a family tradition. I love the feeling of one big family that 4-H is. Fair week and shows are full of fun, family, and friends. Contestant I replied, I started showing livestock because my family raised a serious deer and I thought it would be a new fun project. And the drive to keep doing Good. And I'm going to slide down like that. I'll take the temperature test. Anyway. And contestant Jay replied, I always love animals. And critical that it is fun. As far as what we can do, I love the competition with my friends and being able to spend time in the bar with my family.
I won through uh, Dairy Goats. I won Master uh, Showman of Bat. And then with Bat, um, each species gets to go in for the Showman of Showman, where we, um, at five, where we first like go to horse and then do showmanship there. And then we come back to the show ring and do Dairy Beef, Dairy Cow, Sheep, Pig, Llama, Dairy Goat, Meat Goat, and I think that's everything. And then um, out of all of those, we get a certain placing, so like one, two, three, and then whoever at the end has the lowest score is your showman of showmen. So that's what I won today. Yay! Yay! We're so proud of you. Thank, Thank you. So you. Much. We was bossing a little bit of it there. Yes, yeah, we've seen you out there in the, well, with the cattle. Mm -hmm. so. What's your cow's name? Um, I have four, so I have two big steers and two middle steers, and I kind of went with a friend's theme, so I have Gunter, Joey, Ross, and Chandler. Okay, very good, very good. Yep. And how did your cattle win? I mean, what what did the judges win? Um, so they looked for so dairy beef. Kind of, you obviously have that like dairy structure, so it won't be as beefy as the beef cattle, but they look for like just the meat and then like the frame of the animal and what they like and dislike and how filled, filled in the cattle is. Very good, very good. And how many years have you been with Forage? This is my 10th and final year. Oh, okay, so you're a senior this year. Yep. And are you going to go to college? Yes, I'm headed down to IUPUI this fall and then I'm going to study forensic science. Forensic science? Yep. Going to be a detective? Something like that. <laughs> okay, very good. I do a, I do a magic trick where I mention threats and science. So, um, so I, I use that in some of the magic I do. Yeah. So what's your, um, what's your best detective show you like? Mm, I love Criminal Minds. Criminal Minds. Yeah, that okay. has to be a favorite. That's, I like that too. Criminal Minds is very good. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you. Good. What's your name? Kurt? No, Hunter. Oh, Hunter. 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 Okay, Hunter. And what's your rabbit's name? Bob. Bob. Yeah. It's Bob. Okay, can you tell us about Bob? Um. How old is he? He's six years old. Six years old. Okay. Is that is that old for a rabbit or is that about middle aged? That's old for a rabbit. Okay. What do you feed him? I feed him this food. That food there. Okay. Great. He looks like a happy rabbit. So. And he's really nice. He's really nice. Okay. He looks like a really we nice feed rabbit. Him every day. Every day you feed him. Good. Does it? Do you have other animals at home? Yeah. Ever. I have four rabbits because I have this. Does he get along with the other rabbits? They're not put together. Oh, I have too many rabbits. You have too many to be all put together. Okay. Thank you very much, Hunter. Okay. Thank you. Have a great day. You have a great day, too. What's your name? Lillian. Lillian. Lillian? Um, you say this is your final year? Yes. What's, what's the name you call to a final year person? Uh, just a final year member. Final year member. Okay. Great. And. Is this, is this your rabbit? This is one of the four rabbits that I brought to fair this year. Okay, good. What's your rabbit's name? Uh, this rabbit does not have a name yet. We usually <laughs> name them after their first show. Okay, very good. Very good. Can you tell us anything about the rabbit? Uh, so this rabbit was born in February. And Camera? actually, it's mother and father both won at show today, but it was not shown same way they were. Okay, good. This so, rabbit was shown as a roaster, so... What's a roaster? For roasters, at the fair we show them in 
meat pens, single fryers, roasters, and skewers. And those are the meat class rabbits. Oh, okay. You can auction them off, but we have what is called the New Zealand breed, and they are bred for meat and coat quality. So roasters are older than meat pens, which have to be less than 60 days old to be shown at fair. Roasters are over that, but they are still under the senior year age for a rabbit, and stewards are senior age level and beyond. Does he allow someone to touch him? He's so soft. See how soft he is, Wesley? I'll hold your phone. And three, we're continuing with their biography. What goal did you set for yourself in four years? really soft, isn't it? Yeah. How have you worked with Jesus? That's part of their good coat quality. That's the coat quality. We breed for color and for softness. Okay. So while this rabbit has a good coat, it's nice and soft, it's actually quite thin. Wow. I mean, it is their summer coat, but the judge would like it to be just a little bit thicker for this rabbit. Okay, um, how, what do you what do you feed the rabbit, or how do you get the coat to the quality you want? Uh, so for coat quality, you can feed them black sunflower seeds. That gets their coat nice and shiny and fluffy. Okay. And to help for meat rabbits with their digestion, we feed them hay, as well as give it to them as a treat. Very good. You're so knowledgeable about your rabbits, you really know. What you're going to do um, after you um, graduate from 4-H? I'm going to pick out the best rabbits for my little sister as she goes through 4-H. Okay, very good. Are you um, what? Are you in, just graduated from high school? Or are you? I just graduated from high school. What, what you going to do after you graduate? I'm going to Trine University to study general engineering. Dental engineering, very good. Very good. We all need a good dentist. So, yeah. It's such a pretty rabbit. It's one of the five varieties of New Zealand. So New Zealand's are broken up into white, black, blue, red, and broken. Broken meaning their color is broken up with white. Gotcha. And brokens can be broken black, broken blue, or broken red. Okay, very good. Uh, I, I like rabbits a lot. That's um. Old MacDonald had a farm, E I E I O, and on his farm he had a cow, E I E I O, with a moo here and a moo there.
bring these, um, are these goats? Is that what they are? What? Oh, what are they called? Um, the goats. Goats, okay. Yeah. Uh, she's a meat goat, and her name is Sparkles. Okay. Can you tell us a little, did you, how old is she? How old is she, goat? Um, she's like one and a half now. Okay. Wow, so it's, um, you had her ever since she was born? No. No. Okay, when did you get her? I got her last year in the winter time, in the winter. Okay. What do you get them at when you get them? You get them. Um, my, one of my parents' friends was raising goats and that's where I got her from. Okay. Is this your first year with 4-H? It's my second year. Second year. Who do you have here with you? What's your name? My name's Lily Gator. I'm Lily Gator and tell us something. Did you bring an animal too? Yes, I brought six and they're over there. Six? Wow, six um, goats or yeah. sheep or what? Six goats. Six goats, wow. And one rabbit. And one rabbit. Okay. Have you um had any judging done yet? Yes. Did you win anything or did you just go Yeah, up? I got reserve overall reserve grand champion and I got three trophy trophies. Wow, congratulations. Thank congratulations. You. That's really wonderful. Is this how many years you've been in four? Uh four. Four years now. You showed many for two years. Yeah, and well, your animals are right over here. Huh? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. We'll give a better look at them when on the other side. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah, we're with Access TV. Oh, really? Can you tell can you tell us about your animals? Oh yeah, I have Nigerian dwarf goats. Um, they're dairy goats. I show them here at the fair back in my last year. Oh, is it? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so you're a senior this year. Senior this year. Okay. Going off to college. Okay. How many um how many years have you been doing 4-H? I've been doing this ten years. Ten years. As much as I can. Yeah. Have you always you always done goats or? Always done goats. Okay. Dabbled in poultry. But those are what's up. So what you gonna do when you go to college? I'm gonna double major in veterinary nursing and animal science. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. definitely staying in the field. Definitely. Yeah. Veterinarian. Yeah. Wow. You'll be an animal doctor. Hopefully. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You will. So good. No, good. thank you guys. Can you tell us a little bit about your um about them? About them? Yeah. They're like they're there they're, they're one of the smallest trees. They're kind of similar to pinky goats, they're pinky goats, pinky goats. I heard, um, uh, said Gary. Don't help me. Don't help me. Say. That's what I've heard. Yeah. yeah. I don't know for sure. I'm not the biggest goat milk or even cow milk drinker. Okay. But I've heard that it is. Yeah. 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 And a lot of people like to make soaps and cheeses with that. So they have a lot of people like to make soaps and cheeses with that. Do you have any little sisters? Into it. I have a little sister. She got into it a little bit, but it wasn't necessarily her interest. She used to bring us all So that's kind of what took her. Gotcha. Okay. And then we're going to end up giving our herd away to the kids at her age. So they'll continue to get shown. Because I just won't be as involved because I'm going to be in college. So. Right, right. Yeah. Very good. Well, thank you. Thank you guys for coming. Okay, thank you. Hey, Wesley, I guess um, next year they're changing this, aren't they? Yes, they are. That's asked me what this sign is about. They are saying that we probably don't see West animals okay. because of the state fair. But starting next year, take no other switch. It's going to from July to June. Okay, we're going to have them in June now. June 20th okay. to the 25th. All right, next so year. next year, pay attention in the spring or you'll miss 4-H. Yeah? Yeah. Very good. Thanks for telling us about that, Wesley. They see it on the east side, sir. Uh, I'm Sarah Jane Pettigrew. Okay. Sergeant. Did you say, what's your first name? My first name? Yeah. SJ. SJ, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is Archie, and that's my other horse, Goose. Okay. Very yep. good.
You had them a long time? Um, I've had Archie for eight years and I've had Goose for three. Okay, and um, tell us about the horses. Um, Archie does showmanship, which is what are you doing? I'm looking sorry, what are you doing? pretty and... I've won. Thank you. No problem. I heard there's, this was the fastest horse? That's that one over there. The other yep. one? Wow. Yeah, the bay one. Wow. Yep. That's amazing. Fastest this year. <laughs> wow! That's awesome! That is awesome, I tell you. Okay. You are so cute! Yeah. Yeah. You ride them very much? Yep, they get ridden uh, almost every day. Do they? Okay. Yep. And what do they eat? Uh, hay and grain. Hay and grain? Okay. And they get pasture every day, too. Okay. Very good. Yep. Well, thank you very much. No problem. Enjoy the rest of your day. My name is Joe. Joe? I'm here from the local office in Fort Wayne of AAA. What, uh, tell us, for people who don't really know what AAA is, what can AAA do for you? Okay, there's a lot of things that AAA can do for you. AAA is a membership organization, mm -hmm. and with that membership, you're going to get discounts to a lot of different hotels, restaurants, rent a car companies, so a lot of retailers yeah, offer AAA yeah, discounts yeah, and things like that. Mm -hmm. We can book, yeah, we've got one of the best travel agents in the area at our office. You can book travel. I tell her she, I tell people she's been telling people where to go for about 20 years. That's right. That's right. But across town, across the country, across the world. And then with our roadside service, we have, if you lock your keys in the car, we'll come out and pop the lock, run out of gas, bring some gas out to you. If you have a flat, we'll come out and put the spare on for you. If the car won't start, we'll come out and give you a jump. Run off the road, we'll pull you back onto the road. And if you need to be towed, we'll tow you up, depending on the level of membership, up to 5 miles, up to 100 miles, or up to 200 miles. And AAA has their own insurance company. So we also have auto insurance, home insurance, life insurance. Wow. And a credit card. And you say you're right here in Fort Wayne? We are in the Northcrest Shopping Center, okay. right across from where the Pizza Hut used to be, right, right next to the Smoothie King. Yeah. And do you have a phone number? We do. What is it? 260-579-9149. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank That's you very much. Sure thing. Thanks is there anything else you want to tell us about Triple A? It's a great company to work for. It's a great organization for the community. And when you break down, you know who to call. That's right, exactly. Thank you so much. Thank you. We have 18 dump trucks, okay. just like it. Uh, Tri-axles or quad axles. That's a big truck. Yeah, it's got a very big, <laughs> big truck. That was the horn in it. Yeah, yeah, I <laughs> And it's got a very big engine in it. I very imagine, big. I imagine. Yeah. How much can this thing haul? Besides uh, stones, what else do you normally carry? Uh, we haul salt, sand, um, stone, gravel, gravel, gravel lip wrap, metal, yeah, anything. Okay. Wow, it's a big truck. This yeah. is the biggest truck. Um, huh? one of them. Yeah, one of them. Oh. That's nice. Mm -hmm. And what's your name? Uh, my name's Caden. Nice. I'm Dan. Dan, nice to meet you both. How long you been with Journey? I've been here about four years. It's my parents' company. Oh, it is? Okay. Yeah. Very good. Very yep. good. And Dan, how long have you been with Journey? Uh, I think we're coming up on almost a year and a half. All right. Very good. Very mm -hmm. good. So, good. And it's right here in Fort Wayne? Yep. It's right off Hillgas Road. Hillgas, yeah? Yep. Yeah, right that's it. Okay. So. Thank you so much. Yep. Thank you. Is that red light on? Yeah. Okay. Can't see it from this side. Wow. Pretty high up there, Wesley. Yeah. Hey, it is. Just, just hear what the horn sounds like. <laughs> you got that one and you got that one. Oh, holy <laughs> mackerel. Man, it's up here. <laughs> okay, Wesley. It's a big truck. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Okay. You look pretty small up in that big truck. I know. <laughs> Can you see out okay? Yeah. Can you? Okay. This is real nice. All right. What's your name? Mark Munsinger. Mark? Okay. Tell us about your tractor. It's a three-year-old, uh, 280 horse 
uh, Case IH, four wheel drive. It'll pull um, 30 foot air seater uh, without any problem. Uh, you can pretty much drive, I mean, within reason. I mean, yeah. you don't want to slop around the mud, but right. it, it will pull. There's I can no see with these tires. With duels on yeah. both sides, you can get you can get all kinds of pulling. Yeah, you can. Yeah. And uh, it's it's a it's a fuel drinker. <laughs> but <laughs> anything from this size, from sure. you get 250 on up to. It's diesel, though, right? Oh yeah. 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 And it's you know air conditioned stereo, mm -hmm. padded seat. You know, you're Wesley, you, can you, can Wesley sit in? It, yeah. No, the kitchen sink. You have to you have to be up to 400 horse to get the kitchen sink. <laughs> Uh. Oh, you're high up there. I know, this is real high. Wow. Yeah, a little bit. This is GPS guided? Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, you can hook into GPS. You, you plant with, when you plant with this, uh -huh. you use the GPS, and then you transfer all that memory and that information over to your combine, and then the combine knows exactly where that planter was. Wow. It goes right down, it'll go right down the line. Wow. And don't, don't try to outsmart the GPS. I never know. You, can, you move this tractor over 12 feet, and know. that GPS will pull you right back over. <laughs> I've tried it. <laughs> okay, that's a good thing to have. So you know, it, it makes it makes it a lot easier, oh, especially yeah. if you're, you know, late at night. I mean, it's got enough light that you can see, yeah. but it's you get late at night. And it's nice to have. Well, so, years ago, they always said, you don't want your roads to go like that. I don't have the any problem. GPS, you, you be don't. You won't have arrow. it. I always leave the triangle <laughs> someplace. Yeah, it's as straight as an arrow. Okay, fine. Wesley. I use it, but it's it's fine. <laughs> What is your name? Nathan. Nathan. How do you like it up there? Fun. You get to see further than when you're down where the fancy tracks are made. Yeah. Fun fancy tracks. They weren't having too much fun when they came spinning around in circles. Yeah, they must have. Thank you. <laughs> now you're on a John Deere, Wesley. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, nice too. Yes, it is. Boy, you can do about anything on that tractor. Oh, yeah. Yep. Got your tool kit right there beside you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You got your tools over here. Yep. Okay. Okay. Oh. All in right in the front, don't you? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Nice little bob tap. That's true. They got steps right here how to get in right from the front. Yeah. Wow. It works about like a tread because you pull one locks, but it's actually wheels. Yeah. Okay, Wesley. There was not stable wide. I know it. It had a like a stirrup on it. Yeah. This is super high. Super high up, yep. Yep. You can see out quite a ways, can't you? Okay, let's watch you get down here. Be careful. Do it the white right way. That's correct. Don't be a header. That's right.
Take it easy. Don't hurt yourself. No. Don't leave it out. There we go. Okay. What's your name? Brian Schatz. Brian, and um, tell us about um, Brooks. So we were established as a company in 1909. Okay. So we've been around for quite a few years, and we're an asphalt construction company. Uh, we do more than just asphalt. We do concrete and uh, our own prep work and uh, things for our parking lots. Great. Are you located right in Fort Wayne? Yes, down on Ardmore Avenue. Ardmore, do you have a phone? A phone number? 260-478-1990. Thank you. Thank you. Anything else you can tell us about Brooke? It's a great place to work. All right. Can you tell us about your what? Uh, this is called a triaxle dump truck. Okay. It hauls the asphalt or stone to and from our uh, our jobs or to our asphalt plants. Mm -hmm. um, so we have several of these. This is just one of them. Yeah, you can do that. Other than that, the that's about it. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. Yep. You're welcome. You okay with that? Well, you feel like a driver, do you? Yeah. Okay. Good. And you're kind of keying out on the screen there. You oh got... yeah, that's that's the weather. Yeah, right. Like the weather map. Yep. yep. So. Right. So that's a chroma key. So anything with a green tone or a yellowish tone will key out on that background. So that's why your shirt is kind of yeah, disappearing like there. Yeah, I'm almost invisible. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> that's why our weather guys never wear green. <laughs> We're the same way. We have a green screen yeah. at, at our studio. Perfect. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So, so that's it's amazing. The weatherman is standing in front of the screen and he don't see anything. Right. Yeah. Right. So in our studio they have um, they have one of these like right on the front of the camera so they can look straight in and see the screen. And then they've got a couple off to the yeah. side. But you'll notice when you point, it's backwards. Ah. So, like, if you're, trying to, if you're trying to point to next Saturday, yeah, you have to use. Yeah, it's it's yeah. so it's kind of a tricky little skill that they master. It's like looking into a mirror. Right. Like exactly. It's exactly right. It's exactly yeah. right. Yeah. 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 That's cool. And tell us your name again. Yeah. So my name is Lou Cuccinelli, and I work for Wayne 15. I'm the Creative Services Director there. Creative so, Services. Yep. Yeah, so Great. I do all the marketing and in charge of commercials and. All that sort of Very stuff. Very good. So, yeah. Do you have a phone number if someone can get a hold of you? Uh, gosh. Uh, probably the best way is uh, through Wayne.com. Honestly, okay. um, there's a there's a form on there that you can get a hold of us. Okay. Yeah. Is there anything you want to tell the people at home? Uh, no. Just thanks for watching Wayne 15. Yeah. Uh, and going to Wayne.com and doing all that fun stuff. So. Well, we thank you for being local and having all the local news yeah. and also all the local weather. It's so nice to have a station that's not a network station yeah. that doesn't know what's going on in Fort Wayne. Yeah, we pride ourselves yeah. on really sticking to our, our market, yeah. and uh, we, if you know if it's not local, we try to keep it out of our newscasts. Yeah, so. that's that's what's so nice about watching 15 is you can you know what's going on in Fort Wayne. Awesome. Yeah. Happy to hear it. Tell us about what's going on out here. So today is the Touch a Truck. Uh, mm -hmm. This is our second year doing it, um, and it's really fun. It's all these really cool things out here that you can climb up inside a dump truck or a cement mixer, um, yeah, yeah. come and practice doing the weather here with us. Um, just a lot of fun stuff to do. Uh, people are handing out candy and all kinds of great things. So, Well, if uh, you remember, I'm a magician. Oh my goodness. Oh, and so I'll show you something. Okay. Here. Okay. Here's, I have some silks. Okay. It's um, red, white, and blue. Okay. And what would that remind you of? Uh, that would be the flag. Very good. That flag would sound good. Okay. Yeah. I'll put these back in my hand here. Okay. okay? And um, watch close. Okay. Very nice. Yeah. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> well done. Thank Love you, it. Thank you. Yeah. But that's what I do. I'm Very cool. Nice. Sometimes I like to get on 15. Hey. So I'd like to come out there and just do a little segment. Yeah. So okay. I do a, I've been doing a show now for almost five years on, yeah. on um, Texas. Perfect. So, nice. So you're a veteran. You're an experienced, uh, an experienced TV, guy. TV guy. I yeah. love it. I love to sometimes get on local TV. Yeah, like very that. cool. 
Okay. Awesome. Hey, you have a card? Maybe I don't. I, can... I don't have any cards. That's all right. Maybe I, I got your phone. What's your name? Kelly Speed. Kelly. Yep. Kelly Speed, and this is your husband. Josh. Yep. Josh and your little girl. That's Parker. Parker. Yeah. Okay. And you, this isn't your first year. You've been out here. Before. Yep. I've been here a couple years now. A couple yep. years. Okay. Good. Good. And isn't that a lot of fun? Oh, it's so much fun, uh, yeah. You say your little girl really likes the animals. Oh, she loves animals, That's yes. <laughs> okay. she, she just giggles every time she saw one. Oh, uh, yes. but it likes the rabbits and the goats and yep. all that. Yeah, yeah. the goats were her favorite, I think. Was it really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yep. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. We okay. are rolling. Okay, what's your name? Shane. Shane. And um, tell us about your, your cement truck. Uh, the cement mixer here holds 10 yards of concrete, uh, 39 ton when it's fully empty. Uh, fully full, I'm sorry. 39 ton of yeah. concrete? Wow. Yeah, 78,000 pounds when it's totally full. Okay. Uh, and how do you order concrete? You just call on the phone, call IMI, our main number, and uh, tell them what you need, and they'll, they'll bring it out to you. Now, someone who doesn't know concrete very well, are you guys willing to help them out as far as what yeah, they need? Yeah, most of the drivers will help. Like if, if you were pouring concrete and you're by uh -huh. yourself, I'm going to get out and help you. Really? Yeah, I'll, I'll get out and help I you. Wouldn't amaze, I wouldn't be a, I'd be a surprise. Now all the drivers don't I, do that. I don't most, think so, the, yeah. The older guys do. We, we like to get out and help and make sure that we can get, We don't want you to lose the concrete. You're paying Correct. all that money for concrete. You don't yeah. want to lose it. So. Right. And um, someone who doesn't know concrete, I, I heard like a four-inch slump is good, but can you tell us what that would be? Uh, four inch is pretty grainy. Um, it's it's a little bit drier consistency. Mm -hmm. When it's this kind of temperature out, you want fall weather oh. because it, the variable is like the wind. Wind plays a variable on the concrete. It'll dry the top of it off. Oh. Uh, but the contractors like to have it about a five, six inch slope, which is pretty wet. Gotcha. Where they can have time to work with it. Makes sense. Especially Makes if they're doing sense. a big pour. Yeah. Because if they're doing a small pour, they'll pour a little bit drier. But if they're doing a big pour, they want it to be pretty wet so they can have time to work with it. Yeah, it makes sense, makes sense. Great. So, anything else you can tell us about that? This, I am. I've been here almost 30 years. Okay. Uh, this truck is two years old. Uh, they're hard to keep clean, but they're... Uh-huh. Well, I imagine with and all the And now they all, all the new trucks have air conditioning now, so that, that helps out for us. Yeah. But yeah, we, uh, we go in a lot of places that most people probably wouldn't drive their cars. Mm -hmm. so it gets pretty treacherous. Yeah, with these tires, I can see. It's all wheel drive, so everything yeah. locks in and we can get in and get out. Like when it's well, really muddy. Like with new construction of homes, sometimes that ground's really bad. Yeah, a lot yeah. of times it's uneven, but they're doing a better job of preparing the ground for us so that we can just get in and get out. Well, that's Because, nice. I mean, you know, you, you, they don't want us there any longer than we have to be. We don't want to be there any longer than we have yeah, to be. Yeah, definitely don't want to yeah. have you getting stuck or nothing. Exactly. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Have a good, good day. Good seeing you again. Good seeing you again. Yeah. 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 Take care of yourself. Okay, you too. You there yes, you, go. you bet. Uh -huh. What's it like in there, Wesley? Not too bad. Not too it's bad. It's a little small. Uh -huh. It's definitely. Just a one-seater. Yeah. Yep. That's all you need. Yep. You ready to deliver concrete, are you? <laughs> There's a lot you gotta know. I think you are. You can handle it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, you can handle it. <laughs> <laughs> just put it in discharge and just hammer it. You'll be good to go. <laughs> put it in a big pile. It'll be all right. Yeah. Uh -huh. Very good, Wesley. Of course, of course. Okay, again, um, your first name? Shane. Shane and? Angela. Angela, okay. Um, I have some cards here. I have an ace, okay, and I have a king, and I have four blank cards, okay? Okay. Now I'm gonna trade one of the blank cards, say, for that ace, okay? Okay. And I'll let you see ahead first. You get to see what happens first. What? And I got four aces. Okay? <laughs> now I'm going to trade the ace for a king. Okay? And now you get to see this. Wow. Oh, that is awesome. impressive. Now I'm going to trade one of the kings actually for that blank card again. 
The blank card? No. No? Yep, my dad. I'll blank again. That's pretty impressive. <laughs> that is. I don't know how you did that, but that's impressive. I do just have just one, two, I know. three, four, yeah. five, six cards. Wow. Yep. <laughs> that's impressive. That is. That's what magic is. It's a yeah. lot of fun. Yeah. So, Adam, these are just well, amazing. I'll definitely, I'll definitely check out your show. So do, do. Yeah. yeah. For sure. Okay, let's see. Excuse me. There you go. Um, here's a couple of silks. Okay, look at them. It's a red, white, and blue silk, right? Yeah. What's that? White and blue. That reminds you of what? The flag. The flag. Okay, let's try that. The flag. Abracadabra. What? <laughs> that is amazing. How long did it take you to learn magic? Actually, magic is quite easy. Is it? It's quite easy. I want to encourage a lot of people to, to learn magic. It's always so much fun. And um, I'd like, love to see anybody to learn magic. I like to come to houses and do birthday parties or any occasion like that. Angela. Angela. A N G E L A. G E L A. Okay. You can help him up in there. Yeah. Here, Dave, do you want to go in it? Whopper? Yep. Holy cow. You can drive it. You can sit on the seat if you want. You can, it's okay if you stand on it. You can get him. Just take the time. Sit in the seat, bud. Wow. Mom wants to get a picture of you sitting in there. <laughs> He's like, okay. nope. I'll let you hold the card. Don't look at the back yet. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm what's also called a mentalist magician. Probably means there's something wrong with me. There is, but it also means I can read your card. Okay. Um, I can show you cards or I can use your imagination. Either one you want. What, which one is it? Um, no. Imagination? Okay, we'll try imagination. Imagination, just imagine that we have queens in front of us because that's the only lady in the deck. Okay? These four queens are imaginarily right in front of us. Now I'm going to turn them all face up so you can see all four queens. Okay? Look at Mama. You're right handed, right, Angela? Okay. Um, so we're going to use your left hand because we're going to eliminate some of these cards. So with your left hand, you can have any, any queen you want. Reach down and pick any one of them. You want to go see a different one? Okay. Pick it up and okay. name it. Queen of what? Okay. Queen name of uh, you want to go here? Very good, very good. Like I say, we're eliminating cards. Now if you left hand, you can pick up one more. Okay. Queen of? Uh, hearts. Okay. I'll hold those two up. The heart and a spade. And when I snap my fingers, Angela, give me whichever one you want to give me. Heart. Okay. Are you sure this is the card you want me to have? The queen of? Heart. Or you want me to have that one? The heart. You want me to have the queen of hearts? Yeah. And you don't want to change your mind? Nope. <laughs> okay, read that card. Queen of hearts, even after S, to change your mind. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That is impressive. Wow. Very good. Oh, so, thank you. I'll be looking for a we do that. What's your name? Jason. Jason? What's your last name? Tigner. Jason Tigner. And this is definitely not a go-kart. What is this? It's a micro sprint. It's micro sprint. And what is that micro sprint? It has a uh, 600cc uh, street bike motor on them. Wow. Uh, we run them at US 24 in Logansport. Okay. Wow. Okay. It's quite a... Quite a vehicle, I'd say. How fast does it go? It's gonna uh, anywhere from 55 to 75, depending on the track. Okay. The bigger tracks, you go faster. Smaller tracks. <laughs> okay, very good.
And you were out here last year, remember you? Yes. From we were in that side. Yep. I remember you from last year. Yep. Yeah. So um how, I forget exactly um how do you get into your club or how do you what's it about? You just uh, buy a car and you show up at a track and you can run there's not really a club, it's a, it's a okay. sanctioned event. Okay, very good. So anybody, any young kids want to get out there and get a vehicle and become a racer? Yep. This is the way to do it. So how did they get a hold of you? How, how, what's the phone number you have? I don't have. Oh, We're okay. private. You're private? Yeah. Okay. So how yep. did they get a hold of you? Then? Tell us where you're at again. I don't have one. We're, oh. we're, we're private. Okay. Yeah. Then how does anybody get a hold of you? They don't. They don't. <laughs> <laughs> they don't. No. <laughs> I, okay. I don't. I don't have sponsors. I do it all on my own, and okay. I don't have to report to anybody but myself. That's good. That's good. Mm -hmm. I remember you out here last year, but I thought, well, maybe there's probably a phone number and get a hold of you. No. Nope. Okay. No. Nope. I do it all myself, and okay. that way I'm not tied to one track or tied to however many races I have to do. Okay. Very good. Who do you have here with you? Uh, I have my son and my wife. Okay. So, want to introduce yourselves? Melissa and Nick. Nick? Yep. Nick, okay, very good. Nick, you, you drive these stuff? Yeah. You don't drive them, huh? It's kind of dangerous, or? Hey, don't no, he just won't let me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know he's a little wild, huh? Yeah. <laughs> okay, very good. Thank you so yep, much. Thank Appreciate you. It. Thank you. Every darkened door Where blues won't haunt you anymore Where the brave are free And lovers soar Come ride with me To the distant shore We won't hesitate To break down the garden gate There's not much time left today Get in 